Hi there. Now for this part then you had to find the value of p and you can see that the answer then is p equals 8. How I went about this is that uh, we know that Lm and Mn are perpendicular so I use the perpendicular gradients rule that is that the gradient of Lm when multiplied by the gradient of Mn should equal minus 1. We already had worked out the gradient of Lm in the first part of the question. It turned out to be minus 3 quarters. I've now worked out the gradient of Mn, as you can see is the difference in the y values, p minus minus 4 divided by the difference in the x value, 16 minus 7. Okay? And that cleans up to p plus 4 over 9. So since the products of the gradients then must be minus 1, just multiply the two together, equals minus 1. And from here, I've just got this equation here, where I've times both sides by 36, leaving with me with this line, and you just solve it to get p equals 8. Okay, so this is the key point really, I feel, in this question, knowing that the product of perpendicular gradients equals minus 1.